Welcome back to a new episode of Practical Bash and Terminal Skills. Today we have reached part 10 and I'm gonna talk about TR, which you can use to replace, delete and trim characters from strings. So for the longest time, I actually thought TR stands for trim because you can remove it to, uh, you can use it to remove white space, trim white space from strings, for example. So that's a common usage. But in preparation for this tutorial, I checked the manual page and it actually stands for translate characters. And that makes a lot more sense. So let's dive right into it. We have, this is a string here. So I'm piping that into TR and then TR takes two arguments. Uh, they're both strings of characters that you wanna replace. So we have basically the, the search and the replace or the source and the target. So for the first one, let's say we wanna replace every I in here with a one, sort of like, like a lead speak. Then you get this kind of a kind of a string here. This also works with other characters. For example, we could say, let's replace every space with an underscore. So this is possibly a uh, more real life use case of where you'd want to use it. So coming back to the lead speak example, let's say we want to replace all the vowels we have in here. So I think this is actually just, maybe if I turn this is string into this is a string, which is what I wanted originally to type. Now we have two vowels. I was a bit confused for a second. I thought, why is there only one? Let's say I and A, and we wanna replace it with one and four in this lead example. So now that you see, we have two characters here and two characters here. Basically there's a, a mapping based on uh, the position. So the first character of this string is gonna be replaced with the first character of this string and the first character of this string uh, sorry, in the second character of this string with the second character of this string. So let's run it. And you can see this is a string with uh, lead letters. So based on that, we could use that for something like the entire alphabet. So G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, X, Y, Z. It's actually not that easy to type the alphabet. So for the second one, I'm gonna cheat a bit. So let's just say, I copy that and then I'm gonna uppercase that in them. So let's pretend I just typed all of that. Then you can see we actually uppercased our string. And this is of course a super awkward way of doing this. So there is a better way. What we can do is match all lower case characters. And notice this pattern here, we have the uh, square brackets and then a colon on each side. And we can do the same to upper. And there you go, we have the same result. This will of course also work in the opposite direction. Another one that you can do on TR is you can set the minus D option. And I think this is the one that got me to, to think of TR as trim rather than translate because with the D, it only takes one argument and this is something that you wanna remove. So in this case, you could say remove the space and then we have, this is a string. So this is basically trimming white space, um, not just from the ends, but from all over the string. If you do some translations, there are also some special characters that you can use. So for example, we can say, translate every uh, single space to a tap, tap escaped here by backslash T. And then you can see we get something like this. If we're talking about spaces, let's pretend for a second that our string looks something like this. This is a, I don't know, string. So this is a roughly random amount of spaces. Uh, it actually kind of looks like an equal amount, let's remove a few here. Um, so here we have this, and now let's say we wanna replace, well, the space just maybe with the space. That's of course pointless because we're replacing it with exactly what it is. But if we're doing that, we can use the minus S option, and S stands for squeeze, and now these spaces are squeezed into one. So when multiple source characters occur, they're squeezed into one. Again, here we can use a special matcher. So we could say space here, and this still works in the same fashion. Actually, um, it also removed the line break from the end and uh, replaced it with a space as well. So it seems the line break is also counted as a space. Similarly, this would work with new lines. So let's say you have this is a, and then we have two new line strings. If we do that, 
and let's maybe say tr and again the squeeze option and we want to replace all new lines with a single space then you can see we get this is a string here and of course you can also do that with echo minus n so you don't get a new line at the end and then here uh, the string doesn't add another space at the end there's one more flag that we haven't talked about yet and that is the minus c option so let's go back to our this is a string example so if i use the minus c option then it inverses the pattern so here i can say space and we'll actually use the d option as well so without them let's just first run it without the c this would remove all the spaces but if i run it with the c it will remove everything but the spaces so we end up just with spaces which i think is more useful is if we say lower then it removes everything but the lower cases or we can say out the um sorry sorry that was supposed to be without the c leave the d for the lead now it removes the lowercase characters and this is of course a bit of a made up example but something cool where you can use is use this is let's say you use open ssl rand i think is it rand yes it is to generate a random string and then you can say well for example base 64 and it should be 20 characters then you get something like this and here you have because it's base 64 sometimes you have characters that aren't uh, alphanumerical so what you can do in this case is use tr and we use the d option again because we want to delete and we want to delete everything but so that's why we're using a c character and now we're saying l num which is alphanumeric and then you can see we end up with a random string that only contains letters and numbers and i think this is quite a useful example especially if you're on a mac because on a mac it's super hard to use stuff like dev random if you pipe that into tr oh well can't use empty strings if you pipe that into tr you get errors like this one here illegal byte sequence so in this case it's super helpful to use the open ssl command to generate a random string that works also on the Mac but of course it means you need to have OpenSSL installed this wraps up the video on TR I hope you've liked it if so please give a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't yet and see you in the next one thank you so much for watching